Hello, I'm Daniel Greenhouse, Director for the North West at Canal and River Trust. I'm here at Todbrook Reservoir today to share with you the news that we've reached a significant milestone on the project where we've chosen our design option for the repairs to the spillway to bring the reservoir back into use and for the community to come and enjoy this in the future. Last autumn we entered into a period of initial public consultation on our preferred options for the permanent repair of the spillway at the reservoir. One of those options was on the sailing club side of the reservoir, and one of those options was on the woodland and the football club side of the reservoir. Really grateful for all the public engagement during that process. We had well over a thousand people engage, either virtually or in person, at the consultation sessions. Nearly a third of those consultees left some really valuable feedback and we're really grateful for that feedback because that has definitely shaped our chosen option for the spillway repairs. The new spillway is going to be located behind me on the left hand side of the dam which is the sailing club side and this option is a developed version of the option A that we presented at public consultation. The spillway will comprise of a side channel weir that will flow into a tumble bay and then the spillway chute will follow the existing ground profile around the dam down towards the base of the dam where it will enter into Stilling Basin and from that Stilling Basin there will be a channel that will flow around the park and then enter into the River Goit where the existing discharge already flows in. We've undertaken a lot of engineering, technical and investigation works to reach this solution. And this solution is definitely the best option in terms of reservoir safety and constructability. But it also incorporates some of the feedback that we've had during the public consultation sessions. So the next steps for us are to undertake more detailed design work of our chosen option prior to entering into another period of public consultation in the spring. Following that public consultation, we will submit our planning application in the summer and we're aiming to start on site in winter of this year on the construction phase. If you'd like to know more about the project, we've got lots of information on our website, including a technical report and a non-technical summary. And I'd encourage you all to read those documents and get in touch with us and give us some feedback. <laughs>